welcome to Tarantulas with Shanti. This is my Monday update. This is my dog, Yuri, a Mastiff Lab mix, and he's kind of camera shy. A couple of little wiener dogs. These are my boyfriend's dogs. They'll be living here with me now too. Um, one of them is Gracie. She is really old. Here she is. You can see she's a really old dog. There he is, Toby. Anyway, so my update that I have for you, um, I'm gonna talk about my tarantulas, then look at some of the ones that I have that are female. Um, and I want to also tell you that there's an expo coming up in Spokane, which is where I live, Spokane, Washington, next, uh, this next Saturday. So I'm gonna try to cover that. And I'm not sure if I'll end up picking anything up there or not, but. I need to go cover that and check it out. Another update that I have that um, people may not know unless you know, you're know you on my Instagram, which is also Tarantulas with Shanti, I got a piece of Letheria Metallica um, when I ordered some uh, other pokies from uh, Palp Friction, and this is before the Sri Lankan um, endangered species uh, interstate ban. Uh, and my freebie was the P. Metallica. I was really excited about it. The first time it molted with me, I woke up in the morning and its feet were stuck in the molt and it was already gone. So sometime during the night, you know, it, it had a bad molt and I was really, really, really disappointed. Another update that I have that I'm sharing in this video is to show Andrew, Andrew's tarantulas how many roach nymphs I have. So these are Turkestan or Red Runner roaches. Um, he gave me some advice several months ago how to get them reproducing and I'm gonna show you how many babies I have now. Gonna show you uh, Sticky, my stick insect. I got him for free from a pet store when I was just in there visiting and asked about them and they just gave it to him to me. And, it was a little tiny, tiny, tiny little thing, and um, it's molted and been eating blackberry uh, brambles for several months now. And I'll show you the millipede molt that I'm gonna go over in my educational video this uh, Wednesday. I will also show you the tarantulas that I got from Dean of Dean's Tarantulas when I was down at the Portland Expo. Let's get on with the footage that I have to share. And I hope everyone has a great week. This is the millipede shed that I'm going to examine and feature in a video for the Education Wednesday. I'd also like to tell you about what I got from Dean at Dean's Tarantulas. I will feature something a little more detailed on these later, but I did, um, as I just said, get this um, pumpkin patch large female and um, paid for her and then um, he actually gave me this Serrata Gyrus Marshali. And it is hiding right now, but it is molted. There it is in there. You can see it a little bit. It's molted at least once and grown. And he also gave me two Neo Holo Thele Inse olives. And there's one. And they're really cute and spunky. They're really great, great hunters. And then the other one is. This one didn't come out. Oh, there it is. There it is in there. So they're very happy little guys, and uh, they're doing great webbing up in there. And I have this humidifier here for these guys. Um, probably they need some, so I'm gonna turn that on. I had some confirmed females that I haven't talked about in any of my, vi my videos. The first one I have here is Mercury, my Chromatopelma cyanopubescens, and Mercury is a confirmed female. My Harbectura poker piece is also a confirmed female. She is in pre-molt right now. I have a Hapalopus species Columbia Large Pumpkin Patch. This is also 
a female and I got her from Dean of Dean's Tarantulas. And there she is. I do think maybe she's in pre molt I'm not sure. She likes to spend a lot of time alone. Little Thing is also a confirmed female. I'm pretty sure my Brachypelma Classy is a male. They have a confirmed female, Laziadora Parahibana, that's Peekaboo. That's Laziadora Parahibana number two. Number one is over here. My P. Concerides was confirmed female. That just happened here with the last molt. Uh, and I already do uh, have my, my King Baboon, she's confirmed female. And I have another one from Fear Not. She is my Theraphosa new species Rattan, and she's also confirmed female. And then I think suspect female on my Haplocosmia Himalayan. I have um, Fiza, my fangless tarantula. Another thing that's an update that uh, I did recently was set up this um, <clears throat> little bio tank. It's a nice new tank that I got for my betta fish and she unfortunately passed away and I was gonna sell it and then I thought well you know what I'll just turn it into another place for some more isopods. So I have Dalmatian isopods in here and um, some dwarf white isopods and some springtails. There you can see some of them. My baby um, hissing roaches are growing. Here's a couple of them over here having some grapes. My Jeep Polkra, it's not Gurgle. She's over here. She just molted um, about a week or two ago, so she's, I uh, haven't seen her since. And I also have Sticky, my stick insect that uh, one of the pet stores gave me for free. Oh, we got some boogieing going on here. And then I have my two jumping spiders. Um, this one I got up in Clark Fork, Idaho. It's a little tiny one. That's actually um, a fly. It's up in the corner. Eating well, molted many times. And I have my Platycryptus californicus. Her name is Val. She's my tan jumping spider that came from Death Valley. I'll show you a clip of her. My AC Bonnie is in pre molt. Um, whether or not this is a male or female, that's left to be determined. I just discovered here that she only has one fang. So that's really, that's the second adult tarantula I have gotten at an expo that has a problem with fangs. Maybe it's really close to molting time and the little bugger broke it off. As you can see, my Red Runner colony is doing really well. They're eating some orange and some winter squash. Lots of babies. I have a system that I use for this. And that is, I have an incubator here. I put all of the egg cases in a little deli cup where they hatch and there's some wet sphagnum moss in here. I count the cases that are hatched. And then over here, I have the breeder colony. And I collect the cases out of the breeder colony and put them inside of the incubator so that they don't get eaten. And I keep a low population of adults over here in the breeder colony so they don't feel stressed and they produce more egg cases. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed the update. I want to thank you very much for helping me reach 250 subscribers that just happened yesterday i think so um yeah i really hope that i can provide some content that you'll enjoy and uh thank you again